Hey everybody, what's up? Brock here. Welcome to another Thragazer guide. Uh, this time we have the new modifier Thor to talk about. Uh, very strong Thunder main carry uh, modifier. So let's get right into it. So, like I said, Thor is a Thunder modifier uh, that uses traces and uh, she hails from the Yggdrasil function. Uh, what I need to say about the skills now, um, actually I don't want to spend too much time saying much because her skills are very very straightforward. This time around I'm not gonna go ahead and like you know go through the skills one by one while showing them but uh, on the contrary what we're gonna do is gonna go to the tutorial practice and we're gonna go through the attacks to see uh, all her attacks and her rotation, how you want to do her rotation when uh, you use uh, Thor. So, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are. So let's take a look at the skills one by one and then attack. So here, normal attack is a, a five hit combo, right? Let's uh, see how it looks. All right, and there you go. Okay, so a very important thing to remember about like the normal attack is that your fourth and fifth attack is the pretty much the very very important ones especially the fifth one because the fifth attack actually gives you a trace back uh, so every time you hit with your fifth attack uh, your trace uh, you gain one trace which is very important because if you miss the trace uh, gain you'll have problem with the rotation and of course you have to wait a lot for the skill uh, cooldowns as well so next up will be her dodge of course so every time you dodge you can go straight to 4 and 5th attack, which is important because, like we said, the 5th attack gives a trace back, right? So that's why when you dodge and you go into your attack, you start from the 4th attack and then you go into the 5th one, which gives you the trace you need, right? So for the skills now, the skills are really straightforward. You, you go with skill 1 and then, like you see, you go skill 1 follow up. You need to be a little bit fast about it because if you wait too long, the skill you won't be able to hit the skill 1 follow up. And of course, every, every time you use a follow up, you go into the 4th and 5th attack again. Which, like I said, it's important, so you need to make sure that you're hitting those. So, the skill 1 looks like this, this, and then you go 4th, 5th, and you gain 1 trace back, right? Same with skill 2. Uh, skill 2, another thing you need to remember is that here, skill 2 uh, can actually gather enemies around, so it's very nice if you have many mobs around you, you can gather the enemy. So, go like 1, 2, normal attack both you get trace back very nice and same with skill 3 also very important to say that skill 3 is your most damaging skill so you want that skill to really connect with the enemies so like go one go up fourth and fifth and trace back right and of course your ultimate skill uh summons like your big gauntlet and goes into the thunder state so you like do really the attacks and then you charge and you unleash that's how you go about the ultimate so so that's like all the, her skills but like we said the fourth and fifth attack is very important because you gain the trace back but how is the rotation looking the rotation is like you go with skill one first you open up and then you go to skill three into skill three then you go into normal attack normal attack which is the fourth and fifth and then you pretty much do normal attacks until you have your skill one uh, up again and you go into skill two so it looks like this one two three normal attack right and then you normal attack a little bit until the skill is up and one skill two skill two again and again you get the trace back You need to remember that uh, your follow-up attacks, they cannot be cast unless you have three traces. So it's very important to remember the rotation and to have traces so you can actually do the follow-ups. In case you do not have at least two traces, so you can get one more before the follow-up, then you won't be able to unleash the uh, follow-up attack, which is the most damaging one. So you need to be aware of that. 
uh, and look up what traces you have. Uh, and that's about it, honestly, for the rotations and the skills. Uh, another thing to actually talk about is the bar that is above the health bar for Thor. That's like the thundercloud um, bar, pretty much. So every time you actually cast skills and you do normal attacks, as you can see, the bar like you know keeps going up and down. That's because you gain thundercloud points, and you can as you gain more thundercloud points, you actually do more damage so that's only the thing you need to remember about it that the more you connect with your attacks and the more you keep you know pushing the attack and uh, using your skills uh, the more points you get and the more damage you get so that's all you need to remember you don't have to worry about anything else and that will be it for this uh, let's go to the functor access key section Now, as for her Functor uh, access key, um, the thing is that Thor is a very good DPS, especially if you have uh, her Functor. If you have the resources to go for it, then it's highly recommended to go uh, and get it because it gives quite a few buffs and to Thor. So it's a very good uh, way to boost her attack if you plan on playing her as a, your main carry pretty much. Uh, now if you don't have the resource for it you can always use uh, you know the 5 star generic uh, factor or like the 4 star uh, which is the uh, what's called the elf, uh, the elf one. I think if I remember correctly. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this one, Elf uh, Murfield. Yep, you can use that one since like it boosts the skill damage. But yeah, in general, I would highly recommend it uh, to go for it if you have the resources, especially if you want to focus your main DPS teams around Thor. You know, you can you want to make like a team around Thor. You want to main Thor, pretty much uh, can really really help you out if you go for it. Now. For the sigils, uh, the de facto best sigil set for her and is the Eternal Chariot with a degree of the waves. Eternal Chariot on 135, a degree of the waves of course on 246. Uh, it's the best set, you don't have to look uh, for any other set. Uh, now, if you go for Omega Thor, if you have like an Omega Thor, then wh what you want to do is replace uh, 5 and 6. Of your sigils with uh, a two piece of uh, owl or a two piece of uh, the feather. Uh, what's the griffon? The griffin sprite, not the feather. The griffons. If I'm yep, this one, griffin sprite. You can you you can use griffin sprite on five and six, or you can use owl. Uh, personally, I'd rather use owl, ambush of the owl, uh, better to boost even more of your melee damage. So yeah, that's the de facto for the sigil sets, uh, you know, use that, there isn't anything better to use honestly and there's no other variation, that's like a general purpose sigil set. Uh, and as for the skill effects, as always, what you're looking for is Fierce Assault, Berserk and Enraged, Thunder Blessing of course, Tactics Enhance is pretty good because of the, you know, the skill damage. And of course Sinryu can be pretty good because uh, Thor really has a can do a lot of damage during her ultimate uh, state uh, here alongside of course Osiris because if you're planning on getting Thor there is a very good chance that either you have Osiris or you want to get Osiris as well because those two make an unbelievably good team combo uh, loopback can be pretty good, Sand Enhance can be pretty nice too, but the ones that you're looking out for is like the one, previous one that I mentioned. Uh, now for the warps, uh, what you're looking out for is of course Power Up Melee, because it being a melee modifier, and of course the Executioner. Uh, you know, depending on if you have like double S or triple S and above, you know, you go either Executioner or the Judge, uh, or like, you know, you go a combination of those two. Uh, for 3 and 4, what you want is EM Flux along with a Telepathized 4 Shield since you're using like a tier 3 Ether Code. 
And for 5 and 6, what you want is evolution particle, telekinesis vector, and flashback core and ultimate uh, equa equation. Those four is the ones you're looking for. You can go with whatever you want. I went for like, you know, with a mix of those two because her skill 3 is the most damaging skill like we said earlier and is the one you want to connect most so you want to get like most out of it so i went with a skill three level subs and the base damage as well and of course the cooldown of skill three to be less so i can use it more and of course the ultimate skill chain to do even more damage this is like those two are like the most uh, damaging uh you know moves in her kit so those are pretty much what you're looking out for the warps uh, if you, for what you want to build uh, Thor with. Now, for the other codes. So, the other codes, you have two options here. One is the uh, full blue option, uh, which is the one that I really like to use, especially when I'm playing main carry Thor. I think like it's a pretty good one, uh, and it's a very consistent damage-wise, uh, as long as you can complete the rotation that i showed you earlier you know to be able to connect with your moves and not lose your traces otherwise you lose a lot of uh, dps now if you're planning on playing thor as an ai and not actually you know uh, use her as the main carry uh the triple red is actually is actually the triple red is actually the best one because you can leave it at that it reduces the thunder resistance as well and she will do her job fine really so those two are like the ones that you really want to use for uh, the ether codes now there's one thing that i like to say i didn't really show it uh, when i was uh, going through the uh, the rotation because I was showing the rotation of like the full blue ether codes uh, which was like uh, skill 1, skill 3, skill 3 then you go into 4th and 5th normal attack and then you go like uh, uh, skill 1, skill 2, skill 2 and again repeat 4th uh, and 5th normal attack right and you uh, loop it pretty much but when you're using if by any chance you want to use like triple red and you have your Thor as your main car is the one you're controlling then what you want to do is like use skill 1 skill 3 skill 3 a uh, normal attack normal attack and then you go skill 2 skill 1 skill 1 normal attack normal attack that's the pretty much the change here uh, between blue and red personally i recommend you to use blue so you can you know uh, feel like a, you have more consistent damage throughout where using thor uh, and that's about pretty much covers it like I said it's very straightforward uh, like I was saying earlier uh, you want to connect with your skills it's very important to have your skills connect and not like do uh, cancel your attack so you can get those traces back from your normal attacks because your normal attack only the fifth attack actually gives um, a trace back but other than that, uh, another thing that we can talk about is the team comes for Thor. So the de facto best partner for her is, of course, Living Soul Osiris is the best one. They making an extremely, an extremely good combo because of the ultimate uh, skill chain. Uh, which uh, deals thunder damage, of course, deals wind damage, and on top of that, it sends both the modifiers into their uh, ultimate state, uh, in, uh, which is like the thunder rage and the judge of the underworld mode, and it has like tons of buff as well, increased skill damage, and uh, like you know, it it lasts until the judge of the underworld mode ends, which is pretty big uh, portion along with the increase in the damage dealt by all team uh, members of the team which so it's very 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 strong uh, you can use alongside the series uh, and Thor you know you can use Hera if you want to go like even it's like a kind of an overkill you don't really need to but you can use a rank Vertandi as well you can use another trace modifier to boost their damage and do more damage through that uh, a very good option is Bastet for example that uses traces um, later on we're gonna get more you know uh, different characters that can actually team up like for example Lulian is another one that comes with uh, later on but yeah uh, those are like some of the teams you can use uh, I think like another team would be 
using like a full uh, Yggdrasil Genzone team as well, where it's, where you can actually get uh, Heimdall along with uh, Osiris and Thor, so you can have the like, full Yggdrasil buff. And if you want like to have uh, some sort of uh, sustainability as well, you can put either titled Song Poseidon or you can use Counter Tide uh, Leviathan as well. Those are uh, options that you can actually use too. So yeah, uh, that will do it. I, it pretty straightforward, pretty you know to the point. I didn't want to spend too much time because there's really not much to talk about other than show you what you want maybe to use. So I hope this uh, video helped you uh, with uh, building Thor. Uh, you know, if you have any questions or you want you know to say something, feel free to say so in the comments. Feel free to like, subscribe for more uh, videos. Okay, Thor, okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, that will be it. Thank you very much for watching once again. Take care, everyone. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.